So, OpenStreetMap is cool when you're editing and there's lots of information. And I'm quite impressed by the things like uh, Pascal Nice does this, how did you contribute to OpenStreetMap? You know, not looking at the map data itself so much, but data about the user. And you can see how much I've changed. I, I am most of the time, which is where I live, which is good. Things, countries, and what time of, of day, what time of week, and stuff I, I did. It's not a feeling about my sleep pattern, is there? But I don't, when you're editing a street map, especially maybe the, the people that are quite new to it, there's a lot you can edit, add to open street map. It's unlimited, literally, because it's just key value pairs, so you can do what you want. And it's like, well, how do you discover these? You know, some people get in niches like the cyclists you know all their things, and, and there's maybe hikers you know you can do different types of paths and styles of fences. But, um, and I noticed the, the new idea that it's got a search feature, but that's still, you've got to know what, what is worth mapping. So I thought, well, why don't we look? And I actually, I only noticed when I came up with this page. Um, has a bit there with types of things I've done. So, 46% of the ways I've done the buildings, I didn't think I liked buildings that much, um, and only 2% are natural things. Um, but so I thought, why can't, if I can study that, look at that, can we like see what, like this, what kind of tags, what things am I mapping? But then go, like when you're shopping, you're looking at this product. Other people who looked at this product also looked at something else to kind of suggest not things to buy but things to map. So on the train up from Durham yesterday, I did a little prototype. And what this does is set by default to me, and it looks at um, the last edit I made, or the last three edits, quickly takes some tags up the top there. So I was adding that house. I have no idea where that is. Uh, it was a while ago. And so I put the name in and stuff. And then it goes, it, it takes those tags, searches in the database for other users, which I've only put into fake users. But it, it kind of, it, it orders the other users in, it, in its own database that will hopefully reflect the truth map. And it kind of, first it picks out, so here I've added a house name and stuff. So it goes, oh, well, there's someone called Dress Mapper. They use, and the exclamation marks here uh, show tags that I've also used. So it's like Mr. Address Mapper, he uses the house name tag and the house number tag. You can see I use them as well, which is why it's listed before the site club. Um, but he also uses building equals entrance, which I mentioned earlier. And it's like, oh, what's building equals entrance? I can search that up and go, uh, oh, well, it. I mean, that is an obvious one. It's where the entrances to a building are. Um, I can probably find out who's using it, what it's used for, and stuff. But then I can go, oh, when I'm adding the next house, I'll map the entrance and remember to take notes of that. Um, and then it might show me some other users. So this is a real life demo. I can put in a specific change set. So that's that one. Oh, it's exactly the same one, which is a bit boring. Um, oh, that's a different one. So here was a different time when I was editing, changed it, whatever. So um, I added a bench, and so it's mixing, it's not looking at specific objects, it's adding them all together. Um, and I'm going to, I've realised there's a mistake space on this, but basically, one thing I added was apparently a medium to use bicycle, which isn't shown on there. Didn't mind. But one of the things I added was amino T equals bicycle. I think this is just looking at the keys. So it's all right anyway, it's all right I did. I mapped an amino T. And it's gone out with the site that also uses amino T bicycle parking. Um, and spaces he also mapped. Why don't you map spaces in the bicycle parking? Um, so I can show you this is real by inviting streetmap.org. Can show you this real if the connection holds up. Um, we're in an infra. This is going to be a fun night, don't I? I want to find something someone's edited. Um, uh, 
Let's go for let's go for the first one. Does anyone know who Ursa Sputnik is? It's a horse, isn't it? Is it? Ah, oh, it does sound like a bot. It's trouble when you look at it. Well, well, shall we put in? Let's put in something more interesting. Um, We're all too busy watching the talks later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who's this guy? That's Bob. That's Bob. What did you edit last, Bob? Well, look at your edit. People may not know that you can look at your edit. You edited it in September, that's more recently. I was looking at your page earlier, actually, Bob. Your comments are very boring. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the thing you did on September, September? We don't know. That's fine. So I'm not even going to click the link. We're going <laughs> to run this in here, copy. So you can see there's the ID up there that I've highlighted. And I'll copy it into my little thing. This is just running on my local computer. Go like that, it'll load, and it's. Oh no, why didn't it do that? Because it was. A, it said no. Yeah, I mean. I was just doing it. That was the comment. Look at the change set, though, don't you? Very I think it's because my script's really rough at the moment, and I think you've had to have new things in. Scroll down. See, it has, but I think it's because I'm. I think I tried. <coughs> Yeah, probably. Thankfully, in the database I've got, no, that's it's not working. I think that might be because, so say that was a change set that had 3D tags. I think my script currently says, ah, there's no tags I recognise, I'm just going to give up and stop. Um, but yeah, so it needs improvement. But that's the idea. So, <laughs> mappers like me 